Hey everyone, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold, and this is 5 Minutes with Ben, and I'm Ben. Today we're going to look at a Blitz game that was played in 1970. And typically, games that are more than 30 years old that were Blitz are not published. But this was in a big Blitz tournament, and the players are very strong. White was Mikhail Tal, and Black was Wolfgang Uleman. And Tal, in 1988, won the World Blitz Championship ahead of Karpov, Kasparov, etc., mainly etc. My, my dog agrees. Okay, so Tall started out with an unorthodox opening uh, g3. Ulman played d5, bishop g2, knight f6, and Tall played c4. Tall doesn't usually play like this, but it's a blitz game, so trying to get his opponent out of theory very early. D takes c4, black could also play d4 or, or c6. Knight f3, knight bd7, castles, a6, knight a3. Now, I would expect that Uleman would defend his c pawn either with b5 or knight b6. b5 is probably really bad because of knight d4 attacking the rook and threatening knight c6 trapping the queen. But he did play knight bd7, so I'm surprised he didn't play knight b6 here just because he played knight bd7. But okay, he played c5. He's like, take the pawn back if you want, and he did. Then he played e6. Tall played aggressively in the center with d4. And now black wanted to play b5 at some point, but he was worried about his rook. So he made a mistake here. He played rook b8, and he thought, I'll play b5 next to move. And Tall said, Rook B8, that's no good. Bishop F4. I mean, now you have to move the Rook back to A8. So that's pretty bad move, Rook B8, but it is a blitz game. So he went back to A8. Now Black can't castle queenside. No. Okay, White took on C5. White wants to open the position since Black just lost two Tempe. And you can see White's castled and has all four minor pieces out. Black has not castled, cannot castle, and has two minor pieces out. So Black decided trading queens was the safest because he didn't want knight d6 check to happen after something like uh, bishop takes. Okay, that's very annoying. And if you take it, you, you still can't castle. And white has two bishops. So Ulman decided to trade queens because then maybe his king is safer, or so he thought. So he played knight takes d5, tall traded queens, and played rook d1 check. And in this position, probably black is already losing, but he made a, a mistake here, so he was he was definitely losing. Um, and actually, I think uh, in this position, white can already win the same way that he won in the game. I think this was unnecessary, this check, but it's such a natural looking move. <clears throat> um, but he could have played knight b6 immediately and won the same way. So he played rook d1 check, uh, Ulman blocked, and the knight's pinned, so white played knight b6, attacking the rook, and the bishop covers b8. So the only move black can play to save his rook, knight takes knight is illegal, because the rook is pinning, is rook a7, and then it's a funny move to finish the game. Uh, but it's a blitz game, and black didn't play very well, so he lost very quickly. Bishop b8. I like the way the knight is pinned, it can't take either piece. Neither piece is protected, but the knight's pinned. And now the rook is trapped, and black can't get anything for his rook. Black's not losing the exchange. Black's losing a whole rook. So in this position, Ulman resigned. So even when Tall played sort of a boring opening, he still beat people with tactics and less than 15 moves. And Ulman is a famous chess player, top 20 in the world, not some simul opponent. I hope you enjoyed that Tall game. I know he did. This is Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This has been 5 Minutes with Ben. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye.